Oh, this little guy. Very cute with shiny eyes. All right, let's go back to Gord Lake. Have him sniff around a little bit. That little creature? Shut up. It's great. Hey, I love little doggies. Good boy, good boy. Good fuck em up, missile. What's wrong, missile? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Cannibal, it's eating my samurai dogs. <laughs> He was just hungry. He's a hungry little guy. He ate every single one. Sorry, Larry. Sorry, don't pay my bills, Nick. Yeah, well, you don't pay my bills either, butts. <laughs> it's gonna have to this time. So, what the fuck was that? Look, it's Missile, isn't he cute? Keep that mud away from me. Maybe the stand is a front for a mafia money laundering scheme. You're right, no one pays Phoenix. Poor guy. Yo. Check out my new dog. Oh, I can't present any- oh. Look at this cute little dog! Okay, now I'm to the ones they use to sniff for things, right? I wonder what Gordy smells like. I hadn't thought about that. I, uh, I have no idea what to do. Should I just go get a different- Cool, a different... Maybe if he sniffs around here? Nothing, okay. <laughs> I wonder what Gordy smells like. Okay, weirdo, yeah. A little bit of a weird thing for her to say, that's true. I kind of overlooked it, but you're right. Edgeworth is in questioning. Let's come back later. All right, uh, frickin' behave yourself in the courtroom. It's not gonna be so much fun when Edgeworth refuses to pay your bail again. Okay, cool, super helpful. Do the fishing pole. Sadly flimsy and of dubious utility. <laughs> Alright, back to Gord Lake. Let's go fishing. Nothing over here. Eh? Huh? Nick, this looks like a good spot! Yeah, let's check it. Let's try it. Figured something like this would happen. We should have brought Missile along with us, too. At least then we'd have bait. Dude, what the fuck? Are you saying to use Missile as bait? Dude, Nick sucks. <laughs> Nick cancelled. Some jokes are le better left untold. Oof, she hit me. <laughs> Alright, just try not to reel in any Captain Cans or Boots. Yep, he called it. <laughs> and we set off the camera again. Whoops, sorry. So sorry. Who could hate Maya after that? Yeah. <laughs> Nick Pear, stop saying that. <laughs> okay, so it would appear this was useless. And we should have just taken the metal detector. 
unless the metal detector is going to do nothing for us also. I mean, he made it sound like when we use it, it was going to break, though. He just said to dispose of it if it breaks. Why can't he bring all three? Does Nick only have one hand or something? That's too good. That's too funny. I think he said it was department policy or some shit. Oh, goodness. Ah. Hated that noise. Metal detector found something. Sure is loud enough about it. What is it? Share with the class. An air tank. Hmm. Valve looks broken. Thought it was Gordy. Maya, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? Second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Don't be rude, Phoenix. Damn. Something wrapped around it. String of flags. Might as well take it with us now that we found it. I mean, he is right. He's just mean to her sometimes. <laughs> Those look like the flags with the steel samurai. Anything over here? No. You probably have to sign out the shit on the sign out sheet. Yeah, a little checkout binder. She's only got a couple screws up there, and he almost all of them are loose. Yeah. <laughs> She's just a free spirit, man. <laughs> Air tank, what about it? Your head would be like that, too, if other people could just randomly take over your right. <laughs> Have you seen this before? Oh, nope, never. Oh, what happened? Oh, I hit a button by accident. Who the heck would go diving in the middle of winter? There's something about the way his eye twitched when I showed him the tank. I think I'd better pursue this line of questioning a little further. Sir? Are you lying to me? Prob kills like 3% of her brain cells each time that happens. Yeah, just slowly making her loonier and loonier. <laughs> Why would I ever think like that? Oh, look, you see, you see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like the string of flags around your still samurai there. It must be a coincidence. There's strings of flags everywhere these days, like elementary schools and used car dealerships. Why would I need a tank anyway? To inflate something. The steel samurai. Why would you go asking me a question like that? Right, right. Actually, um, the compressor I always use was on the fritz, so I tried using the tank to inflate it just once, and it didn't go so well. I'm gonna ask more. Think you could be a little more specific. Look, it's embarrassing, so I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us! Whatever. It's like what I said. The compressor was busted, so I took the tank and tried to fill the samurai up with that. And then... Blam! Oh, good god. Oh, there's our Gordy. <laughs> the valve busted open and made this incredible noise. And that tank right there took off like a rocket. And it might took my poor deflated steel samurai with it. Sure scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure. Rip samurai. <laughs> so the tank and the steel samurai you were trying to flow blew away, what happened next? Well, all that happened on the 28th or so, a week ago. Now, as far as I could see, the tank went flying out into the lake. So I went out every night in a boat looking for it. I mean, Kianse gave me that steel samurai after all. So were you here or not? Just the night before last. So the night that, that that there was a murder? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Look at him with his little gloves on. So cute. Took me four whole days to find it. Yep, that was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. What the fuck? <laughs> but you see, I went home before midnight. Why wouldn't he just tell us? This guy has... You know, we were just talking about how Maya's got not a lot of brain cells left. Maya's doing great. Larry's got to get his shit together. <laughs> Too bad. It's not all bad. We've solved one mystery, at least. Yeah, do we have that now? No one in this world knows how to just tell the truth. I know. They don't know how to talk straight. <laughs> 
Gordy doesn't exist. Yep. Of course they have proof. No lawyer worth his badge to make a claim without proof to back it up. Check it. Boop, 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 boop. Tell her. Tell her, Nick. There's a stand near here, a hot dog stand. Giant inflatable samurai doll. An idiot who happens to be a friend of mine tried to fill it. Use this air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently made a pretty loud bang when it flew. Nah. The tank, along with the still deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time... Couple was taking a photograph of the lake. <laughs> I mean, those don't really look exactly the same, but I'll take it. I'll buy that. I'll buy that for 50 cents. So you're saying that Gordy is really the steel samurai? Well, that's a fine way to- Damn. They had to lay the sad music on us. <laughs> I'll give you your info like I promised. So tell us information. A promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They said he's the caretaker of the boat rental place off the path here. Rip Gordy. It's true. You're always in our hearts. Someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just an old guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Lotta. Hold on. Yeah, the night of the murder, my camera clicked twice, you know. Duh. Yeah, but there's nothing in it at all, just a lake. So many deaths, when will it end? So much tragedy in this world. I figured it wouldn't be so much use as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but here, take it. Okay. Time for me to pack up and leave. Aww. Yeah, the Legend of Larry, similar to all who know him, familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> Someone should whip that butts into shape. Uh, What should we do now? Y'all hear that car alarm going off? Pleasant. I don't like his shirt. I don't like those little squares with eyes looking at me. Maybe we can talk to this guy? Eh? Rocky, don't lick the blanket nugget. Oh, he's so cute. My little old man. Gonna snuggle with him as soon as we're done. It's gonna be great. It literally... Cheech of Cheech and Chong. <laughs> Meg, is that you? Hey, is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. Nick, you handle this. Uh, I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. Meg! Y yes? Finally made up your mind, have you? My mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. Pasta? This is a cozy little room, huh? You make your old man proud. When you can- oh, nice. Nice! Another bop, okay. When you kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running, an old man like me? Polly, the kids are home. Grandpa music, hell yeah. Hello, hello. Squawk. Parrot, the one on the perch. Dude, I want a bird so bad. Rocky, rock, stop. Oh, I gotta turn the light on. It's... Autumn is here and it gets dark early now. I leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Sonny. Um, based on the available evidence, I'd say it's the name of his pasta shop. Y'all ever know anybody who says pasta? Kill me. Pasta. What's it? Or, or, what's the other one? It's pasta, pasta, like pasta. I hate that. Pasta. <laughs> it's a relief, isn't it, Polly? No, because I end their lives. <laughs> 
They haven't turned the heat on in the apartment building yet. I'm so cold every fucking day. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I can't stand these kinds of places that, like, do those switches. I understand why, but, like, I don't really think it's actually necessary to switch one off each time of year, either AC or heat or whatever. Oh, do you even have AC? I know a lot of places there don't. Either way, they shouldn't switch the heat off. Pain in my ass. I get it, but it's fucking Canada. It's just fucking cold. Exactly! Yeah, I don't think that there's any real reason for it other than, like, just being cheap. Like, no one's gonna use the heat when it's 90 degrees out anyway. You know what I mean? So, like, you're not- I don't know. It's stupid. Hey, y'all. <laughs> Good the fuck night. <laughs> Sir? I don't know if we have AC, to be honest. Our apartment is always cold because it's half underground. Oh. Well, that can be beneficial in the win in the summer. You know, for the, like, one week it gets hot there. <laughs> Oh, we've- we've awoken grandfather. Yup, to think the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father started it, you know, so that makes you two the third generation. Meg. Tomorrow we'll start with the secrets of dough tossing. Dough tossing? You too, Keith. You'll be the best pasta wrangler the, pa the West has ever seen. Isn't Italy part of the the West, as in, like, the West powers? Isn't that what that is? It's like Europe and America. Anyway. Yes. You know the best pasta's always been made west of the Rockies, don't you? Right. Of course, everybody knows that. It's always west, depending on what type, what part of the globe you're coming from, so it's fine. <laughs> Maya's surprise face is so cute. It is! I love her the little animation she does. Good thing you like it so much. Sarah, since you see it 200 times, yeah, she does make that face a lot. <laughs> right, of course, everybody knows that. Nick, how long do we have to keep up this all in the family charade? This old man must know something about the murder. I'm not leaving until we find out what it is. Sir? This is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This here is the Palace of Pasta, the wet noodle. Though now that you mention it, we haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, Yo, dude, we want to ride in one of your boats. That's why I keep them boats out there. Youngsters these days, darned if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. He's the witness tomorrow. We gotta find a way of getting info. Do, 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 do. Hello? It ignored me. Imagine your restaurant failing so hard, you just let it become something else. We sold so little pasta, we became a boat shop. <laughs> what, you forget, Meg? You gotta call her name first. Polly, how you been? Hello, hello. See? They gave us shit for wanting a child as a witness last time, but then there's this guy. That's true. We get either a literal second grader or a man suffering from dementia. Neat, so the Polly's, the parrot's name is Polly. Erstwhile companion of the boat shop caretaker answers to Polly. At least Cody could be persuaded to be normal. <laughs> har har har, old Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. Polly Polly, what's your name? Hee <laughs> hee, cute. kitchen unit. It's pretty clean. Is it? Funny, he doesn't look like the type who'd keep things tidy like that. Running a pasta shop here. Do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Lots of various fish in Gourd Lake aren't there. Something's funny, Nick. All these fish are saltwater fish. Television in here, too. Fishing rod. I'm hungry. He has an electric blanket on his table. Looks warm. It's a great idea. We should do that at the office. We can sit down with our clients, snug and warm, and drink hot cocoa. That sounds great. What are y'all having for dinner? I think I'm gonna have leftovers. Might have some leftover Swedish meatballs, or maybe... Steven made this really good orzo and spinach and marinara sauce bake the other day. That was really good. Gonna make a hot dog when the stream is done. Nice. Do like hot dogs. 
Or I might learn to make pancakes. Ooh, pancakes. Put a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of vanilla in there. Hell yeah, brother. I mean... Sir? We bought pancake mix, but Ty is always the one to make them, but I think I can do it. Dude, I think you can do it. I believe in you. Remember that tricolor pasta we were talking about? Our rainbow Leoli figured out the last color we should use indigo blue. Doo -doo. Just trying to see if I can get him to talk about the murder at all. Wish we didn't have to wake him up every time. It is kind of hilarious that he falls asleep so fast. Our guy has straight up narcolepsy. Imagine being able to pass out the second you stop talking. God, I would kill for that. <laughs> hmm. All right, I'm checking the walkthrough again because I'm tired and my brain's not on full capacity and I'm not gonna do it. Day two investigation, that's what we want. All right, what are you gonna tell me to do? Thought we should try and show him something, but. Right, where did these? Boat rental shop. Gord Lake Public Beach. Talk to Larry. Gordy Boat Rental Shop. Caretaker's Shack. Here we go. Present the lake photo to the caretaker and he'll say he has seen it. What? I thought I already did that. Oh, we gotta get oh I'm sorry, we gotta show him our we gotta show him our we gotta burst his bubble. Metaphorically and literally. Sorry, guy. Guy is the first person to recognize my badge. You're not Keith. Sorry. Didn't mean to be a jerk about it. We're here investigating a murder. All right, I'll help, but on one condition. When this case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. Okay. Fuck it. Yeah, I hate being a lawyer. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? Mm -hmm. That's my boy good for you, Keith. <laughs> okay. Back to square one. You bring a tear to your old man's eye, you know. What was that you wanted to know? Speak up, Ollie. All right. Do 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 do. Dad, you know something about this? Yep. The other night, out on a lake, they just assume you would show the badge. Yeah. <laughs> Look, sir, I'm not your son. I I have to tell you. <laughs> well, I suppose since you're taking over the shop and all. Boop 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 boop. Forget the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably night. It was after midnight, but okay. Then I heard this bang, so I looked outside. It's a badge, Phoenix. Just wear it. Yeah! <laughs> Just put it on your little front coat pocket or something. Then I heard another one bang. Ooh, 
A little while later, this boat comes back. Then a young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something to himself. Yep. Yep. I forgot. I'll remember tomorrow by court time, I promise. I like showing it in later games to people you see all the time and they're all, what the fuck is wrong with you? I know you're, I'm like, that's funny. <laughs> what a cute little bit. My memory has gotten worse of late. That's why I just tell everything important to old Polly here. Isn't that like a classic trope? People using their their parrots to to keep secrets, their pin codes or whatever. Everything important? Mm, I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? One, two, two, eight. Oh shit. All right. Hey, Polly, watch it, will ya? She's a little troublemaker. <laughs> Quick, Nick, write the number down. Don't get me involved in your little heist schemes. You know what? Little Terry was just here. Terry? Yup, yeah, that kid next door, you always used to make him cry, remember? He was wearing this tattered old coat, got himself some whiskered growing out of his face. What? Oh. <laughs> he comes up and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. I was like, a cat boy? <laughs> comes up and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. I don't think we're gonna get much useful info from this guy. Maya, maybe we should be leaving. One more question. Catboy gumshoe. <laughs> Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Don't forget DL6. Oh, shit. One more time, Polly. Don't forget DL6. Mr. I mean, Dad. I'm fucking sleeping. It's sleepy time, bitch. <laughs> Why would that bird Polly know about DL6? We have to figure out who that old man is. Okay, so he was involved in that somehow. He locked the door. All right, we're going to Gumshoe. I'm trying to keep the pace up. Let's go. <laughs> we're making we're making progress. Yo. Wanted to ask you something. The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? How do you... That was supposed to be top secret. Do you know who that old man is, detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd bird, but I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't persuasive enough to stand and testify as a witness. That's why we called Miss Lotta Hart yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Can you just do that? Can you just make someone not fit to stand in court? Can you just make them do that? You don't even have his name. We need to know about the DL6 incident. That was when Edward's father died. I can't help but think that it has something to do with this current case. To tell the truth, I don't know much about DL6 either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file, so I'm afraid I can't show him to you either, pal. However, if you can convince me somehow that the DL6 incident is related to this case, well, I guess I'd consider opening the file up. Well... Can I tell you that the bird said that? Yeah. It's related. They're practically siblings, metaphorically. <laughs> That's... You get it? They're related? Okay. Polly, Polly, we've forgotten something. Right, DL6. All right. I'm pretty sure that old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but how would that old man know about the DL6 incident? Well, that's what we are trying to ask you. He's definitely related. Why would he know DL6? Sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Through there is the station's records room. I'll give you special permission to go in and find what you need. Dude, nice. Ooh, new location. It's amazingly dusty. Amazingly bad. Ten years of flies and ten years of dust, I guess. Files, not flies. Same difference. Nine years old. Almost through with the fourth grade when he suddenly transferred. All right. Let's see. Yeah, flies too, probably. Yeah, probably, probably a lot of it. Files, flies, dust. They go hand in hand. First, I have to get a handle on the main facts, like a summary. All right. December 28th, 2000... Did I say 2001? 
It's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. Do they change the date for the release of the re-release of this? The master remaster? Hey, 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. Two days, case is closed. Incident took place in the elevator of the district courthouse. Same district courthouse where we're holding the trial right now. Large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Oh. Our boys got PTSD, huh? Part of the court building collapsed and all of the lights went out. Oh my god, I'm gonna vom. <laughs> that was some earthquake. Oh, is that little Edgeworth? At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours! Kill me, dude. That would be scary like that in the dark. Yeah, fuck that noise. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator and the survivors were unconscious. Oh my god, can that happen? I don't know if I could live somewhere that got regular earthquakes. Dude, me either. We talked about this. Tornadoes, earthquakes. Can't deal with it. One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? Said his father was shot before his very eyes, so Miles Edgeworth was one of the other password passengers in the elevator. Victim, victim here. Gregory Edgeworth. Wow. Clark Kent looking motherfucker. 35, defense attorney. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. He had lost the day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Aww. So he was in the elevator with his father. Poor kid. Jesus. From the angle of the bullet and the other evidence, it could not have been a suicide. The murder weapon, a pistol, was found in the elevator. Pistol had been fired two times. Where have I heard that before? Sounds just like this current case. What is going on here? Got any data on the suspect in there? Very brave of him to have this happen and still choose to become a lawyer. Yeah, good point. What a background. What a, what a rich history. <laughs> Would be the guy my mom got arrested. Man arrested as a suspect in DL6 was Yanni Yogi. He was a clerk in the court, apparently. So he must have been the third person in the elevator, Yanni Yogi, okay. And he had to have done it. He was found innocent thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. The victim in our case, right? Suspect Mr. Yogi was oxygen deprived, so much so he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. Jesus, dude, can that happen? After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Where could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? Did he kill this guy? Why would he kill that guy? He may be closer than we think. Guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know that whole what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. We gotta talk to him. I'm gonna take the whole file. There's too much. We'll never get it out. You're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? Okay. Probably all we'll be able to find here. Wonder how dad will do testifying in court. Poor guy. We're powering through, baby. Boo boo. All right. I also love that little jingle. It might be my favorite one in the whole game. I sing it every time. I can't help it. Court's now in session. We're ready. Great. I was taking a meaningful pause before speaking. Right, well, nobody cares what you have to say. Today's trial will end three minutes from now. Oh, God. I can't stand this guy. <laughs> I miss Edgeworth. <laughs> Oh my god. I guess Phoenix doesn't get an opening statement, but that's okay. It's our guy! Straight up sleeping. Yeah, who has to stop watch who's timing this? I am the proprietor of the restaurant at the Wet Noodle at Gord Lake. And I also rent boats. The night of the incident, you were in the boat rental shop, correct? Yeah, yeah, I was.
I'm gonna raise an objection. We still don't know who this is. Because I didn't ask him, Mr. Wright. I predicted this trial in three minutes. Dude, fuck this guy. I'm gonna choke him out with his weird little neck scarf. Mm, well, I'm not really sure. What do you mean? My own memory. Imagine if they actually start timing you. Yeah, that would be stressful. <laughs> A little counter in the top right corner. The witness does not remember anything beyond the last several years or ago. He cannot recall his own name. But the incident took place three days ago, so he can testify. No one would allow that! <laughs> Good god. Night of the 24th, just after midnight. Yep. I was in the restaurant where I heard rent boats as usual. And then I heard a bang. Yep. When I looked out the window, I saw a boat just a floating on the lake. Then I heard another bang. Two bangs. Just about then, the boat comes back to shore and a man walks by my window. All right. Oh my god, shut the fuck up! I can't stand this guy. Die. Yeah, of course cross-examine. Fuck off. I <laughs> hate this guy. Good. Go have your little temper tantrum in the corner while the adults get to work. All right. All right. Von Karma objects to Phoenix breathing, literally. It's like every 10 seconds, it kind of drives me mad. <laughs> All right. Head to the 24th, just after midnight. I'll just press him. Let's just see if we get anything from this. Yeah, just around then. Are you sure? Yeah. Surprised you seem so sure about it today. I asked him and he remembered. Isn't that right? Sir, please. <laughs> this is their lives on the line here. Okay. Useful. I was in the restaurant where I rent boats. Polly could. I call Polly to the stand. <laughs> This man is clearly drunk. <laughs> yeah, he's not brain damaged. He's just drunk. <laughs> Don't be so hard on the girl, Keithy boy. We're all Keith. We are all Keith. Prosecution concedes that we cannot prove the witness was in the shop. Please continue. 